Wherever the majestic sugar beet plant is grown, it is at risk from diseases and pests. Particularly in warm and sufficiently moist soils, the pathogen that poses the greatest threat to beet yield is frequently found. The beet cyst nematode, Heterodera shactii. Following planting in spring, it takes one to two weeks, if the weather is favorable, for the cotyledons of the young plants to develop. Already at this early stage, the root is well developed. In many soils, dark brown, thick-walled cysts lie hidden. Many of them have lain dormant here for years. These cysts often contain hundreds of eggs. Each egg contains an infectious juvenile of the nematode Heterodera shactii. Substances released by the roots of the young sugar beet plants stimulate hatching of the juvenile nematodes. The nematodes break through their eggshells and then emerge from the cysts. As soon as an infectious juvenile has reached a sugar beet root, it uses its stylet to penetrate into one of the cells of the outer root layer. The roots of sugar beets are suitable hosts for this nematode species. Using the strength of its muscles, the nematode migrates through the root tissue. Supported by numerous cell wall digesting enzymes that are secreted through the nematode stylet, the juvenile advances from one cell to the next, though without feeding. The nematode's destination is the central cylinder of the root, where water and nutrients are transported in the vascular tissue. After its migration, the nematode chooses a first cell for feeding. With its stylet, the nematode punctures the rigid wall of this initial feeding cell. However, the cell's delicate plasma membrane is carefully invaginated. Now, out of the opening of its stylet, the nematode releases a variety of secretions into the host cell. These secretions affect, among other targets, the cell nucleus. Here, the activity and the amount of the genetic material are increased. Also, the central vacuole of the cell is replaced by highly active cytoplasm. From now on, the metabolism of this activated cell exclusively serves the nematode. Additionally, the walls to the neighboring cells, which also change, dissolve. The cells fuse, resulting in a large joined cytoplasm. This structure is called a syncytium, a system of feeding cells that provides large amounts of all nutrients necessary for the nematode's further development.